Here's a more detailed picture showing where all the wires should be attached. So you can see the orange wire is the voltage input, or the VIN. We actually have all three of the striped colored wires being attached to the ground, or GND. The blue wire is attached to the z-axis acceleration, which is our throttle. And then the brown wire is attached to the x-axis, which is our turning. So now I'm going to attach the optional button. You don't need this, but it's helpful if you want a button in your game to, for example, in Mario Kart, you can shoot items with this button, you can make it a pause button, or whatever you want to do. So basically the button just has two leads, and when you push the button down, it completes the circuit. Okay, so this is how we wire the sensors to the MyDAC. And so you can see here we have our eight wires. I haven't wired this one yet, so I can show you how in just a minute. And then you can see that I have my pairs of wires wired to my analog zero, plus and minus, my analog one, plus and minus, and then my digital zero. And so the two analog channels are for the accelerometer, since that's going to generate a constantly changing voltage. And then the optional button uses a digital channel, since it's either on or off. Okay, now we need to mount the accelerometer and the optional button here to the Wii wheel. All we need to do is stick this as close to the middle of the wheel as possible. So now we have the accelerometer and the button mounted. And so let's get everything plugged in and see if it works. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and plug in the MyDAC. And you can see I've got all my wires here. And I'm just going to plug it into any USB port. So here you can see it's detecting the MyDAC. So I'll go ahead and click. And then before we start, I want to go ahead and test it out. So we'll launch this test panels here. So I'll click run test panels. And so this is where we can test the signals directly as they're coming in. So we'll give this a minute to launch here. And so first I'll test my analog input, so that's going to be both of my accelerometers. So the way I have it configured now is the AI0 channel is the Z axis, and the AI1 is the left and right turning axis. So let's go ahead and start this up. And so you can see right now I'm at about 1.69, and as I throttle forward, you can see it goes up, and as I throttle back, it goes down. So it's working perfectly. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out the turning. So I'll change this here to device 1. And I'll start it one more time. So we can see when I turn it left, or turn it right, I don't know my left from right, that we get a decrease in voltage. And then when I turn it left, we get an increase in voltage. So everything seems to be working here too. All right, and then we have one more thing to test. This is if you're using the optional button. We go to digital I.O. And we'll be looking at this uh, line zero here. And so it should be actually be high while we are releasing the button and low when we press it. And so I can start it. You can see all of them are high now. When I press the button, it goes low. So everything's working fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the VI now that everything's working. So it's the steering wheel controller VI, so I'll just double click it to open it. And you can see it launches. So on this VI we can see that we have a turn intensity wheel which will show where the wheel currently is positioned, the throttle which will show if we're pull it, pushing it forward to throttle or not, and the button which just shows if the button's clicked or not. And so before we start, we'll calibrate it. So uh, I already have calibration values in here from a previous experiment, so I'll go ahead and click the force calibration on start, and then run the VI. And so it'll prompt me to calibrate. So turn wheel to far left. I'll just turn it like this. Click OK. Turn to far right, like this. Full throttle position, and no throttle position. And so now you can see everything's calibrated. When I turn the wheel, it turns on screen. And when I go forward and backwards, it prompts the throttle. When I click my button, it lights up the LED. So everything's working in my VI. Now let's see this in action. All right, so I'm going to show you now how to play a game like Mario Kart here with this controller. And so I'll start my VI. And so now when I turn left and right, 
or go full throttle, it's going to press keys on the keyboard. And so now all we need to do is map those keys in our game here. Now I can control this game fully with my controller. So you can see now I'm controlling it with the wheel.